God. Did and did the warm up pictures come through? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that what that's out of the um, <clears throat> that's out of the uh, the textbook of art education. You know that series that we've explored in the past, and it, oh no, my drink splattered on the on the print. <laughs> All right. So, which one do you guys like better? Do you like? I guess I guess we can just try them both, maybe. Uh, Is this an eye test? A or B? <laughs> A or B? It kind of is. <laughs> Yeah. We'll do 13 to 17 just because it's kind of fun. Um, I did this a longer expansive uh, expression of this of, of this lesson, you know, with uh, one morning with the kids and it was it was really fun. It was the um, oh, sorry, that's my the snake. Drop this down. Oh, that's good. Oh, nice. That looks good. I know. I this one, this one is my yeah. With the, this thing's got everything. Yeah, it's just like the the nature of the sun and then the radiating dome. Um, you know, of the dandelion. Yeah. So these are some of the reference pictures. I'm. I'm I wonder if it's too close. You're out of focus. Yeah. I know it is. Yeah. Oh, it's too close to be focused. I don't think so. This thing is can be crazy there i think it just takes it's an auto like an autofocus so there's not much there's not much i can do um this is actually a digital uh reproduction so this is like from a for a video game um and i think it's really nice i just yeah. I, really cool um some of, the, some of these you know alternate reality kind of things virtual reality art is getting so good um and, um, my video game friend it's interesting because i'm like i try to tell like, I, I have a kid who's trying to go to micah and you know you know video games is a good job but it's also you know it's also you know video games can be kind of kind of soul-sucking too so i'm like on the fence about it i mean one of the one of my the guys i just met he all he does is landscapes <clears throat> for video games so he really? um, yeah, and he's got he just has all these amazing techniques for um, how to produce the landscape, and you know it's uh, he just draw. I mean, he draws landscapes all day, and makes a good a really good living. <coughs> Anyhow, um, I love <clears throat> this. One. This is like half open. Uh, yeah, it's a night. Nice, you know, it's just the this one. You can kind of see that there are these petals on the outside and then there's these um like the pollen uh stacks in the in the middle these little pollen uh stems stems of pollen versus the petals and you know they're they're like kind of interwoven there's another one where you can kind of see it yeah this one oh, that's nice progression really nice and then um just trying to get it to adjust to the right color I mean, to the right exposure. Washed out. It will do it. It will do it. Yeah, and, and maybe it's a matter of me turning my phone down too. Sorry, I'm, uh, this is the autofocus is trying to, I'm trying to get, the, the image itself is really beautiful. Anyway, it's, it is a nice progression. It's just, it's overexposed at the moment. Mm. Let's see this next one. Let's see if it can adjust. Also, also interesting progression. So yeah. the idea is, is that you can, you know, everybody can represent um, you know, you can represent these dandelions with realism, you know, like as a, 
an actual drawing of you know to make it look more scientific, more natural, or you can use it as a jump off point to make stylized, um, you know, stylized uh, interpretations of nature, almost moving into like an, a, an architectural decorative um, uh, forms. You know, and I think it was really big in this period where there was a lot of movements and people were trying to start new movements from uh, Art Nouveau to Art Deco to Cubism, you know, just kind of like exploring the variations beyond Romanticism, Realism and Impressionism. <clears throat> so let's see, any other cool ones? That's a cool one. Oh, like a firework, wow. There it goes, and it's almost in focus. Yeah, and at this stage, the inner the inner part, there are these little, there's like these, you know, the long seed portion, and then the, you know, the carrier, like the parachute portion. And they all kind of radiate out from this central. And it's not a, it's not actually a um, it's not a sphere. Um, it's kind of like a cushion, almost like a cylindrical cushion. Um, but in the end, it winds up, you know, appearing to be like a sphere. Oh. That's something else. Although her hair looked a lot like that dandelion. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, wow. That's why I put it in. That's um, <laughs> that's CC Deville from uh, the the lead guitarist for Poison, and his hair looks like a dandelion. That's called shape association. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one was the one that I was. <laughs> looking for before this has um you know the, the pedals on the outside you know and they kind of rate they kind of like you know curl up and then you have this layer this uh top cushion or almost like a flat portion of those those pollen um stems and then you have the wilted uh you know kind of the bud protector all these green um you know all these green casing they're like casing uh leaves and they are leaves, or I guess they're uh, technically they're probably petals, but they're green like leaves, and you know they're kind of exposed to elements to protect the the gen, you know the uh, delicate inside of the of the flower before it buds, so it has time to grow. And these are these elements: one, two, three, and then the stem. If we go back, and yeah, you can you can pick them up here too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, maybe zooming in helps. With oh. adjusting the exposure so they wow. there's pollen at the top and then they, they seem the older ones seem to split in these little uh almost like uh antenna and these little um yeah like a, a bumblebee antenna spiral wow we can go back to some yeah then this one yeah okay cool mm -hmm. oh that's so cool Being in makes it so this is that that little cushion on the inside there you go. Wow. Yeah. Isn't it, it borders on science fiction. I yes. Know. Yes, it really does. And when you when you zoom in on some of these, when you go into the, you know, when you, like on a on a, you know, on a microscopic level, it's a whole new world. Um, and it's you know really rich for for fresh ideas. It's amazing how acclimated you can get from certain levels of perspective, meaning like without a telescope looking out into things that are not much larger or a microscope that's looking into things that are a lot smaller. Um, you know, the, there's, there's just there's so much. I did a whole lesson on, you know, everyday objects under the microscope and so much geometry, so much beautiful, so many beautiful um, structures. Mm. That's a nice one. Look at, then you can even get oh, oh. on, you know, you could go even further, like these beautiful mm -hmm. ridges, you know, there's a, there's the point of contact and those are probably, it's almost like a cube. There's like a side plane, top plane, and then they fan out into like, looks like some spikes, but look at the transitions, you know, from the stem portion transitioning into the seed portion. Um, and that's very, makes me very blocky. That's very blocky. I would, I mean, <clears throat> So makes me think of an almond yeah a yeah bit. and also um a mushroom before it oh, yeah yeah 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot like one of those tall, pointy mushrooms. Yeah, or a beak. I can I can see like a, a like the, well, there's that crazy build. What was it called? It's a it's some. It's like a. It's called something build build. You know, mm. or, uh, you know, gull or something. I can't remember. Yeah. It's. I think we. I'll look, I'll I'll remember it. So. That's so. familiar. Oh my gosh, those tendrils. Oh my gosh! It's the um. Whoa! Wow. It's like a um. The organization is the exact same as a pineapple or um, oh, sunflower. More a of a pineapple. I mean, they just like wrap around in the you know x direction, and then they wrap up in the y direction, and they make these little diamond shapes. You know, That's the Fibonacci sequence. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah, probably, yeah. It's like I'm sure DNA molecules they found. <clears throat> it's got. I mean, it's got to be Fibonacci. It's just that's the growth proportions of nature, so there wouldn't. Yeah. There's no reason it would be any different. I like that this one. Look you know how pretty that is on that vertical. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, they the the photographer was really helpful in you know arranging there. That is a block, by the way. So it, it is a cube. You know, on that. Or a pyramid, I guess. It gives me more like a pyramid. Mm. Who knew? Really? The, the lowly dandelion. Yeah. <laughs> so majestic. And now, and now, now here you get, um, you know, ideas of perspective. Let's see here. That's a, it's hard to see. Yeah, it's but, yeah, so they. There's a suggestion of movement. Now there's like a wind that's blowing and you know, they start large and they go off into the distance. Not the nicest. I'll never pull them out again. <laughs> <laughs> I know, wait till, wait till we actually, <laughs> actually draw them. Yeah, these are from, these aren't the highest quality images, but there's the, there's another, you know, a wild, a wild example. Um, this poster is at sale uh, at Alex Cooper. Do you remember when we did this one? Yeah. There's a uh, there's an, it's, it's a it's a nice it's a nice version of it. Apparently, it's the like accurate to the light to the size that it was, but I, I doubt it. I can't remember oh. accredited poster company. Yeah. Okay. That makes me feel, I, I was, I was, I was, I saw it in person and I was like, is this really how it was? How big is it? Um, it's like, it's, it's like 16 by 20. It's not, it's not very big, mm. but I, I have to look, I, it came with like a certification, you know, not, it wasn't like signed or anything by the track or anything, but it was, it, it, it had, it's not your, it's not just your, you know, it's not like a guy was touring around to college campuses selling posters. Yeah. It was like, you know, from, a, from you know, the company was in New York and it, was, and it had a, again, it had like a certification, some kind of, some type of authenticity. Let's see this one. Okay, autofocus, do your job. There it goes. Hey. Yeah, we haven't seen this one yet. It's interesting. These little seeds that the, the puffs left, you know, broke off. So it really is kind of delicate. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. We looked at that one. There is, we had these dried plants in the kitchen. This is my, this is in my house. That's Kristen decorating them. And I was like, man, I've seen these before. <laughs> right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm glad I figured out this, this zooming in business. <clears throat> there's, there's, the, there's that progression that was hard to see before. All right, let's get back. Let's get down to business. Let's see, let's see if we can zoom on these. 
these are the fake ones. Well, not fake ones, but the the digital ones. So interesting. They feel kind of plasticky. Yeah. This one is nice. Look at the little. Look at this little puff ball. Uh huh. It's like right. Before, it's like they're 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 trying to burst oh. out. Mm. Then I think I included my lesson in here. I love this one. I love this little the little neck on here. The half burst. You know what I mean? So it's like it's the yeah. protector that is split halfway down and haven't fully opened yet. It's a beautiful, it's a cone, you know, it's like this wonderful cone shape. Um, and then it dips in at that neck and then slightly winds out. It looks like there's some green leaves that are protectors to the protectors. That's kind of cool too. Yeah, so here was my, oh, a little going order. This was what we did for the class. Did a bunch mm. of different versions on the board. Yeah, and it's the color's not showing up. Oh yeah, there it is. There, there it goes. <clears throat> and they don't they don't necessarily work together because the styles are um, you know, they don't they don't dialogue that well. Um <laughs> There was a, I did the, we did the snake first. Can you see the snake in the background? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We did the snake portion first, um, building those masses. And then um, it went quicker than I thought. And so then we switched over to the, the dandelions. And I just put the dandelions in front and it made, um, it made like a snake in the grass kind of feel. <laughs> and I, you know, I kind of strategically placed the flowers where they wouldn't interrupt any of the kind of crucial parts of the snake. And that I, I didn't make it into art art, but I think this could be, this could be art art. You know, if I made, if I turned it into a painting, there's some, there's something there that's very original and um, really interesting. Uh, that's the, that's a snake without the flowers. So what do you guys want to do? You want to do this one or you want to do uh, a string of these? Doesn't matter. Um, maybe let's do the. Um, do you just start with the top, or do you want to start with the bottom? The bottom ones are so neat. Mm -hmm. They're so cool. Yeah, I don't think I've actually drawn the bottom ones yet. Maybe I drew a couple of them. Each one is so. Each each section is more interesting than the next. And it's almost like you could line them up, you know, with, you know, where they, um, you know, the, this, the 11 congruent to 14 congruent to 22, you know, and then maybe 20 matches with 17 <clears throat> that, that matches with 12. Are these all different stages of the dandelion? Is that what we're looking yeah. at? If you look at this column here, this is the dandelion bud before it, you know, with that little, that yellow tuft that would have been at the top with the green, you know, with the yeah. green borders and they're wrapped up. And then this is partially open. The half cone. One. And then this is, you know, the, the, the dried up blossom, you know, the dome. So this is the realistic, more realistic version stylized stylized you know this is stylized where it's like this mm -hmm. like a, a transparent glass dome this has the dome but it also has the central um hub you know the structural hub with the stem on it and then this is just one of the seed pods by itself mm -hmm. and then this is like you know the even more stylized using that central hub and the stem with kind of like a more like a geometric pattern of the seeds cross section yeah, yeah, exactly. You can see that being a, like a pattern on, like a fabric pattern. Yeah, I guess they had different uses. I could see these being incorporated in like a column. Like, can you see that being in like a like a like a column to like a like a, the molding, like a molding on this on a 
trim in a, in a building. I see the third one on the top, or number nine, as a knoll chair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, very, very <laughs> exaggerated, but. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm also seeing it as like a, it almost looks like a trident. You know, if you made a staff. Oh, yeah, yeah. That too, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it is, this is, this is truly like a, this is supposed to be a warm up and it's already 10 o'clock. So, okay. did anybody start sketching them already? No. No. Okay, good. Ooh, I almost drew over this one. Yeah, that's so nice. <clears throat> Can't do that. Go focus. We got it. <laughs> Rock and roll. <clears throat> I'm almost I'm almost scared. <laughs> I move that there, that's parallel. That's parallel. <clears throat> Get this I'm getting this extreme um, cast shadow right here. I wonder. But if I move my oh right below the images, I'm just gonna move my light over. Oh, that's not helping. A little bit. A little smaller. <clears throat> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Go for it! Oh my gosh! All right, I'm doing a very extremely light circle. So which one are you starting with? I'm going to start with 18. I'm just okay. going to That's gonna go, the hardest one. I'm going to go one. <laughs> that is the hardest one, Trevor. I know, but it's derivative. I mean, I think I think the if we get this one down, the rest will be easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All sure. right. <laughs> we're, we're following in your footsteps. Okay, good. It's not it's it's, it's not that hard. Um, so we, they've got, so the, there's the outside dome and it looks as though the artist has made a, like a five pointed star to symbolize, you know, the explosion of, you know, the, like the parachute portion of those um, things. Now I've just put those, I just put those in there, you know, there's little dots that represent the silhouette, you know, so they're like almost like cropped versions. I think it would be safe if you just made the five pointed star is the only of oh, the only only variations on the five pointed star to describe the dome. So even if you don't use five points like this one I just put in the corner or on the side it's you're thinking in terms of five pointed five pointed explosions little fireworks. And then sometimes if it's on the side, you don't get to see all five. You just see three perhaps, or you see two. And with that original circle, that's gonna help us place those, um, you know, the truncated stars. And then, you know, you want them, you wanna imagine that it is, that these are radiating out so they can come at us. Now, wow, look at that. Okay, so I don't know if this is true or whether I'm hallucinating it, but, and maybe it can be, it can honestly be both. But um, I was thinking on the inside, <clears throat> if you think about the middle of our circle, the inner dome or the inner cushion, I guess I called it a cushion. The, mm -hmm. the, the top of that starts at the middle of the circle. So if my middle of the circle is here, I'm, see, I'm gonna use a, a, a block, like a cube, and I know it's a little bit dangerous to use that because in our minds, we know that it's a cushion. Um, so, but it's easier, remember, to round out curve straight lines than it is to, um, 
the straighten up curve lines. So it's almost like if you're going to err on making th something too blocky or too straight liney, like air, make it too straight line, too straight than too curved. Um, starting with curves is uh, it's just risky. All right, so especially for something that's like a solid structure, and then I'm gonna bowl, I'm gonna use a, um, a trapezoid to get the neck of our cushion. You know, that's almost like the base of the cushion. <laughs> Those lines are gonna run vertical. Um, and now the dome itself, there's a, it's almost like the, you, it's a, the what, what happens with the stem, the leaves and the inner base, it's a, it's a lost and found situation. So there's this little, the, all of the white puffs of the, the, the bloom, the dried up um, cylinder, you know, sphere, um, that is that that it, it almost feels like it's transparent, but really it's the it's the white little parachute explosions that are lighter than the dome in the middle and the leaves at the bottom. So this is actually a lighter object passing in front of um, the dome because if the if all of the seeds have been blown away, you'd be left with the cushion, you'd be left with the neck of the cushion and the um, you know these leaves and the stem. But because the, 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 the dried seed here is still there, um, that's why there's a disconnect between the stem and the central dome. So we're gonna use the explosions, five point explosions to really um, help define the silhouette. And once you know that it's this five pointed star that, that is the end of the, um, you know, the the seed the seed carriers it's you don't have to you don't have to keep doing what you're observing you know it's it, you you're allowed to make your own version of this because we've developed we've figured out the, his language you know this the artist that drew this um it's we figured out we cracked the code sort of um at least for the this the the sphere and you know, it's nice to have hard edges, I think. Um, and so you can make the density of those explosions, you know, so close together that it feels like a line. A lot of little dots joined together, they, essentially that's, that's what a line is. Lots of little dots strung together. So are these pretty well spaced out? Yeah, they're pretty well spaced out. Um, but, you know, in that they're not, it's not a line, but they're close enough together that they, we really suggest a, a circle, which is the edge of the sphere. And then you have some internal marks as well that are complete bursts and then also some incomplete bursts. It's really pretty actually. And you know what the you know there's this theme and variation. I taught a class on flowers not related to this, um, but once you learn a code for how to do a particular flower, you can then repeat it over and over again in slight variations. And in no time, you can have a whole bouquet. <clears throat> uh, all right, sweet. So we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, claim that the, now that I'm looking at the, the, the inner cube, um, it looks as though the bottom of the cube and the right side is in shadow. So the texture and the darkest marks are on the right side. So that helps me see that the light is coming from the top left. And as I approach the sphere, we've done the sphere project, you know, Grace and Stacy, um, probably more times than, um, you know, most humans uh, and, and have ever lived. Um, <laughs> we've, got, we've got the 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 left side of the block of the bloom of the sphere is in light and the right side is in shadow so you can you can take that um sphere concept that we've we've done and you know use it i mean there's there's arguably a core of the shadow there's clearly the shadow side of the sphere and then there's the light side of the sphere so the least amount of stroke the least amount of blossoms are happening in this upper left hand corner right up there. So that will also help with you know, basically a concept, a theory with which to lay marks. And we can have, add more 
to suggest that there's shadow on this side. And then that will be repeated in the shading of the, the base of our, you know, that inner cushion where all the seeds are attached. And I don't think it would be that off to almost suggest some of those seed shapes. You know, remember how we, you could, you, you could look into this and see the seeds attached yeah. to the cushion. Yeah, I don't think that, I don't think you're gonna hurt anybody's feelings by putting some of those in there. Because it's all, in a way we kind of did our research by finding all of those examples. You know, we didn't go to nature, but um, we pretty darn close. Okay, so I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna hallucinate the connection between the cushion um, and the base. And that's where I'm gonna build these triangles of the green petals or the green leaves. And I'm not exactly sure what they are. We'll talk to a scientist about that. But there's the, um, the protective layer around the bud that are all probably dried up now because the, it's fully bloomed and it's about to, you know, they're about to blow away and start the next, um, the next uh, patch, the, ne the next patch on uh, Adele's lawn. <laughs> yeah. Let me move this up because I just... I feel like a criminal because I just pulled out a whole bunch of dandelions the other day and I'm like, oh, well, why did I do that? <laughs> don't feel bad. As long as you didn't use Roundup on them, I think you're Oh, fine. God, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those are real nice. So hopefully, I mean, the next ones should be easier. And okay, so I there, I didn't finish my cushion, but you know, having looked at that uh, that zoomed in version, and then also if you look at the you look at this the second one number nineteen, you can see the gridding, you can see the crisscross grid of the contact points, um, and in fact, nineteen looks more like the cushion the cushion than it does even the um, you know, the outside blossom, which I think is kind of an interesting, interesting observation that, you know, it's like, it's like they drew the cushion to represent the seeds on the outside when um, it, it's like they trans, they transmuted it because nobody knows what it looks like on a microscopic level that we do now, but It's kind of like within the plant, there's the micro and then the macro. So there's like the inner and then the outer and they can, you know, they can be symbolic of each other. So am I going too fast or I feel like I might be done. No, you're good. No, this is good. Yeah. Is, is there anything that my drawing needs? Maybe a little slightly deeper shadow on the stem. Yeah, I mean, this is <clears throat> honestly, this should be everyone should be forced to, to do this. <laughs> I don't mean to be forced like in a <laughs> in a mandated way. Maybe people should be mandated to go to school, <laughs> learn how to do this. <laughs> the next section is going to be. I mean, the construction lines are gonna be way more forgiving, meaning the construction lines here, the, the, all the marks are so gentle that you couldn't really go heavy with the construction lines or else it would, they would show through too much into the final. This next one, the, the, mar, the number 19, the work, the work is going to be, um, building up those lines the lines are the aesthetic let me do a, a circle a construction line trying to get a it looks like a perfect circle could it be taller than it is wide i don't know i think in actual actual dandelions they're wider than they are tall because the bottom is kind of cropped because they you know the you know the the, the seed pods can't come out of the bottom because that's where the stem attaches and then to suggest the 3D properties, 
of the dome, I think these arches, you know, this crisscross grid that we're about to make, I'm gonna try and make that look as round as humanly possible. Maybe not as round as humanly possible, but pretty round. But this is gonna go from, you just follow, you can follow, you follow the dots, follow the cross. It's, a, it's not a vertical and a horizontal, it, they're two diagonals. And maybe, maybe do the cross in the middle, like a crisscross throughout the middle or close to it. Where these two lines intersect are going to be the um, are going to be the, the the tips, you know, the dots, the ends of the. ends of the seed pods. <clears throat> so this, there is a suggestion of the third dimension, um, but not so much with the base. The base seems like it gives you an arrow in the middle. Again, I didn't really push the center line, but we need to know where the center of that circle is so that the center of our, they look almost like lips. Yes, okay, so this is like Cupid's bow. You know, that intersection of the, you know, the middle of the upper lip, and then it S curves into the corner. Instead of turning into a teardrop, it turns into a, um, you know, a point. And with that center line, you can then build the thickness of the stem equal on both sides. That looks like a, uh, making it look like a handlebar mustache. This is cool. So now it really is our, those are the elements and now it's a decorative this is decoration at this point. So I, I tell the kids, you know, not the kids, I tell everybody, there's a point where you have to draw the drawing. So we have the pieces on here. Now we have to make it look good. And so even the point of drawing a line, there's a difference between using a line as a marker for a separation. And then there's using a line as, you know, as an aesthetic component. Um, and this bold circle, um, and the line around the bloom and the line around the stem and, and you know, protective green petals, you know, that line has got to, they've got to be, and do you think the, I think the line around the petals is slightly thinner than the line around the bold outside. So I think if we could have a, a hierarchy of, of lines, meaning the number one would be the thickest line here of the outside. Number two would be the silhouetted edge of the stem and the leaves. Number three would be the intersections um, of those of, the, of our grid. And then third would be the vertical elements that represent almost like shading to the, um, to the inner portion of the, of the green. And however you get the, you, know, you can turn your paper, for the screen, I have to use my, like my, you know, drawing ability, you know, meaning almost like hand-eye coordination, draw, assistant, edge. Now, you could, I could switch instruments in theory. I could take a pencil that had a really thick, uh, thicker, you know, a dulled tip and just draw one line all the way through and that might make the job a little bit faster because you know, pencils are similar to you know paintbrushes in that you need the right you need the right instrument for the right job paint strokes you know huge paint strokes six inch paint strokes six inch wide as long as as long as you can make the um, as much as there's paint in your brush you can also paint, you know, large areas with small brushes. Um, this is kind of fun. 
Um, I had that when I, I, I learned the, that the quality of your line as an aesthetic. I always knew how to draw things. I could always get the right proportion, but to be intentional about the quality and the beauty of your line, they're two very different things. Marker proportions and making beauty. They have different intentions. Trevor? Yes, Dave. Do you hear uh, static? Is that, does anyone else hear static? Uh, uh, it was Adele. <laughs> no offense, Adele. You can unmute yourself. Um, yeah, I think you, I, everybody's able to unmute themselves. I just, it turned off when I unmuted you. And I muted Grace. So, you, Grace, you might have to come back on. I, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't hearing things also. Yeah, no, on my end, I can mute people, but I can't unmute them. So I'm unmuted. Is there still that sound? No. No, no. It's It, it, was, it was Adele. Adele, you're always the cause of sound issues. <laughs> I just unmuted. Oh, and, and it's, <laughs> it's a little I, static. -y. I hear my computer, my processor working. Ah, maybe, maybe, maybe we're hearing some machine in your on your desk there. Could be well, I'm just glad to know I'm not alone. <laughs> Kristen says it's your computer fan. Yeah, could be. And the interesting fact about Kristen, she's always right. Oh. No, really. There you have it. Bravo, Trevor. Bravo. I I, I believe in self preservation. <laughs> Well, and you know it's going to be a good day. Hello. So I'm now. I'm now. I honestly, I, I'm like, I don't know how this next phase. I don't know how it's going to work out. I have, a, I have a feeling that my grid marks may have been too far apart, but I'm going to live with it. And I think my my solution will be. If they're too far apart, then I'll just make my blasts a little bigger. And I also might add um, another another round of the you know explosion. You know, when I say another round, I might make it instead of just four, I may use eight, which I think could look really pretty. And I know it will, but it grew it pretty. I just did one. Just I don't know if you saw that, but. And now I know that my stem needs to move. After because you, I've done, because I did my circle. Anyway, it just needs to move. Oh gosh, so lucky. I'm so happy. Um, now I need to clean up my edge. Does it, now, hopefully, I, my my silhouette of my original blossom was a little soft edged, and then I did these crisp inner lines for the crisscross. And now I feel like I need a hard edge for the outside. And my world is different than than this designer's world. naturally. So I'm going to add the, so I did crisscross, which gets you four. And then if I do in the corners of those crisscrosses, and that'll be another hierarchy. So I did the dark crisscrosses in the middle and then my bursts on the outside are thinner. And I think it looks great. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you. That reminds me of the other one. Uh,
And with my construction lines, I'm I did a first round. And mine looked like I don't know if Stacy what what side yours was off, but mine looked like it was too far to the left. So then I tried to scoop mine over a little bit to the yeah, right. Mine is too far to the right. And the added, you know, thickening the lines, um, you can you can make up for some of those, you know, some of those distortions. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. I and there's way too much space. Gosh, way too much space. All right, well, I don't know if this is a good call or not, but I'm going to connect it. I like it. Oh, wow. Is that what you think Epcot Center is? Is Epcot just one big? Uh, oh. hmm. I think of Epcot as um, like where you have the crosses, the stars. I think of them as more like golf, a golf ball, but I don't know. Whenever I've been there, that's come to mind. But. All right, I think I'm good. I don't need to do 20. I'm just gonna do this one seed and then we'll call it a day. I do wanna get, I do wanna get into the Larson. Chris and I were looking for a church and we went and visited this one church and the, the pastor, the lady, she said she came back from sabbatical. I think it was like two months or something like that. It's like two or three months. She just like left. I was like, what the hell? You're, you're a minister and you just went on vacation for three months. And uh, she showed all these photos of where she went with her husband and stuff. I was like, man, that sounds like a good life. And then and now I feel like when I'm coming back with my uh, with my Larson pictures and my watercolors, like I'm sh I'm just like the, this class is about sharing my sabbatical because I just got to, I just studied Larson and landscapes and watercolors. They were it was so good. So it was I wouldn't say working. It wasn't working, but it was. Uh, Definitely art got made. Okay, so yeah, I missed, I made, I made a mistake with my seed, uh, my seed bursts here. What I should have done is started in the middle. And then there's three on the one side. Oh, wow, you're, you're. Three on the other. Uh, zooming along. So one. Two. Yeah, I could have made I could have made those clearer, cleaner. I think if you went started in the middle, and then did a right side and a left side and then a right side and a left side and then a right side and a left side. Like that would have been a a cleaner way. Ooh, and they, I don't think they do. Oh, that's amazing. How many, I wonder how many bursts this one has. Yeah, number 22. Whoopsies, I didn't mean to zoom out so far. Zoom in so far. Okay, number twenty-two 
Number 21, it has one in the middle and then three on each side, so seven. And then on the smaller version of 22, the seed pods are connected. There's not like this little space. I love that little space. There's like this little, almost like a little clear bubble at the top in number 21. And number 22, they are, um, I think there's only roughly five. So it starts off with one and two on each side. But then you've got one in the middle and then three on each side. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so the number 21, the individual seed pod burst has seven. And then the actual number 22, the that stylized piece has seven seed pods. That's a neat connection. One, two on the side, two on that side. And then this reminds me of a um, some kind of like horned creature. I don't know. You ever seen uh, like bulls that have horns that go? There's bulls that have horns that go up, you know, like steers. Bull horns go up. And I think there are some that like yaks or whatever who have these horns that curl down. And I'm, I'm like seeing those horns curling down. But, you know, because so far each one of these petals is kind of like curled up, you know, curled up, curled up in those seeds. And then these, you know, um, are kind of like shriveled. They're, they're, they're the final stage, you know, we're almost like there's only some left over and they curl down. That's a nice, that's a nice, that's a really nice variation. <clears throat> and I almost, I almost gave up on these, but I'm glad we, I'm glad we did it. The uh, last one also reminds me a little bit of a peacock without. Or even like a, just even like a bird. I just put a beak on that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Um, should we have a little show? At least of what we got so far. Well, that was a resounding yes. I, I heard it down the block. I'm going, <laughs> I heard it down the block. All right, let me stop the share for one second. And then I'm going to do the pin. I've gotten really good at these uh, these critiques with my homeschoolers. Wow. Oh, great. So hold that up a little higher and freeze. We're gonna have to crop that one down. That's nice. Cool. That's really pretty. Yeah. Uh, Del, you want to go? Unmute myself first. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oof. Yes. Very cool. Those are those are stunning. Stace, did you get a picture of that by any chance? I did. Yeah, those are so cool. I like the, especially in the, the the most recent ones. There's like the the line weight variation at the tips, where you like the the you punch the darks a little bit. It's yeah. very architectural. Totally. <laughs> you know, to um, these these. Yeah. 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 To uh, um to punch the the beginning and the end of the line. It's 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 a, it's, a, it's such a treat. Mm -hmm. um, 
trying to figure out when in these, and then Stace, you're up. But, hmm. out of here. Okay. This is the, right, I'll pull the screen share up. But I think, I have a feeling these books had a really a incredible, incredible, yeah, these are from 1904. These these books, and I think they were really really widely used. So okay, Stace, we're ready. Me yeah, I I didn't finish, but cool. I, I I did a little. Yeah. Oh, that feels. I mean, the, the um, those dandelion, the, the the first one looks like you can blow that, and those things will fly away. It feels very. I rich. really enjoyed doing them. Yeah, the um, the 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 fu You know how there's like a fuzzy infinity. You're you know you got the pencil to feel fuzzy, in the way that you almost you want to touch it, like you want to feel the soft. Oh, thank something, you. Yeah, something very attractive. You know, and you know, and in a childlike way, you know, to want to go and pick them up and blow that blow you know blow all the seeds off or just like touch them and watch them poof. You know what I mean? There's it's a texture that's really unique. Um, and you know, the, I, I, I underestimated that a lot and I, your, your drawing made me see that. So thank you. Thank you. Poof. I like that word. What'd you say, Grace? You're on mute still. I'm sorry. All right. Stacy, how did you do that? Did you give them little stems to give them that 3D look? You mean like the star parts, the, the curvature? Yeah. Because you almost can, from my perspective, it looked like I could look into it. So did you give well, it a sample I, somehow? Can you I hold tried, it up? like, sure. Hold it up again. I just need to move something. So I tried to... No, you're too uh, far. On the... Thing. Center it more to the middle of your... Or to your face, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I tried um, on the right side to vary the line weight, but not on every curve of every star. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. know if that makes sense. You have the core of the shadow. That's really right. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Contrast helps, yeah, absolutely. Very yes. And I didn't, I really varied the line weight. And I also went in with a, um, help me, what do you call that eraser? The malleable one. The oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, needed eraser. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So and I just padded the left side. Yep, and so all those lines got lighter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, it has a gauzy feel to it. Totally, God, yes. So nice. Thank you. Real nice, real nice. And I really enjoy doing it so much. Okay. Yeah, thank you, I'm so glad. <clears throat> oh, and I made sure that when I did the perimeter that I left some areas blank. That I didn't do the curvature all the way around the circle. Yes. Yeah, that definitely added to the look. Good insights. All right, you guys want to draw this on the island? Yeah. And just like that, we're out into nature. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. So this is this is this is going to be. It's actually a really nice follow up because if you think about um, each one of these trees um, and even like the bush that's on the right, marks are. It's going to be. It's going to be like a similar task to what you know we just did with the dandelion, in that there are. Oh, you, look at that! Right? Can you guys see my cursor? See your what? Can you see my pointer? No, I can't, no. Uh, on the picture, bummer. No, no, move it a little, let's see if it. Oh, oh, right, no, that's all right. No, I, I'm looking at the screen. I can use my, I can use my. There, there. Use my actual. 
Where's my brush? I just had it. Here it is. Um, Over okay. your left shoulder. So we've got the light coming from, you know, the right. Unfortunately, it's not the same. But look at look at um, just this triangle of this tree here, compared to what Stacy just did. You know, the marks on the right side of the tree where the sun is are you know fewer and lighter. And on the left side, they are you know darker and more more of them. You know, especially here. I mean, this is this little bush here is like a you know a, a tree in the you know in the wind. I mean, there's like spirals and it's moving. But if you look at the overall shape, it's the the right side is in the light, and then the left side is in shadow. And some of the darkest moments are where the the tree is in contact with the ground. You know, where the the brush is. You know, where the grass and the shrub meet. <laughs> You know, kind of creating that horizon line there. Um, I just um, this is a this is just such a like this is the you know it's it's a my, it's a small little study, but like I was saying, um, I, I employed this in my own work. You know, on you know when I was on on break and you know the broken end. You see how like the little dots at the end. You know, like we what we did with the dandelion, oh. little broken tips, and you can clarify. You know where the edge of the tree is by in two ways one by the color you know where you have the yellow of the of the of the fall leaves and then you actually have the the ink and they kind of work together um you have these beautiful spirals inside you know giving you the trunk you know trunk and the bat and the branches you know trunk boughs branches and then you know leaves um with all of this organic material in here he gives us this little there's like this little shed you see this little architectural element right here? It's this little oh, corner. Yeah. Uh, looks like a little, like, I don't know. It's a little, you know, it could be a little lodge or um, outhouse or something like that. I don't know. Um, there's also where you can kind of also see um, the nature of the sun and the nature of the masses is in the reflection. So, you know, here you have the, you know, the right side is in shadow, the left, excuse me, the right side's in light, the left side's in shadow. So you have the light medium at the top and then dark, you know, light medium and the reflection and then left sides and dark. So they all, the reflections even conform, you know, to that, that lighting arrangement. But the marks are all about, in my opinion, they're all about movement. They're all about, you know, where, you know, the way that the, the plant is growing and then also like how the wind is, is, is blowing it. Um, is this ink and watercolor? Yeah, yeah, it's ink and watercolor. So I and I was I was experimenting with it. I can show you, and I think if we finish, um, you know, I was trying to figure out whether you have, you know, should you, you know, you pencil it in. Do you use ink first and then color on top, or do you use, um, you know, watercolor first and then ink? And I found that they it works really well both ways. <laughs> um, but, I was going to ask you that question, you know, on that, on that painting, what went first? So you're mm -hmm. answering it. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think the ink is actually better to go first. You know, you do the pencil and then you ink it and then you do the watercolor kind of in those. I think that is the better way of doing it. Um, I just didn't have, you know, if you look at my, I didn't have all day because I'm not going to, I didn't want to like study. Oh, wow. Study too hard. Nice. Um, you know, on my break. So I was just like, I liked his style. I needed to get, I needed, I wanted to like figure, figure out what he was doing. And then this is one of the pieces. This is one of my, you know, one of my pieces. Ooh, ah, ah. This big majestic tree. And there's, I wish I could hold on, zoom out further. Love. So did you do the ink first or the watercolor first on that? Yeah, no, I, um, I penciled it and inked it, then watercolored it, then went back in with ink and, and juiced it up because the ink so, can dominate the watercolor. So why doesn't the watercolor make the ink bleed? It's India ink. So it's like- Permanent ink, yeah. yeah it's oh. Therapy. Oh. I've but, never known that. Like, I've the, never worked with this that. large gesture. See how like it sweeps up and then wraps around. There's just like there's so much. There's so much going on with this tree and its movement and its masses. And um, 
anyway, it was just, it was just, it was really wonderful. And it was, and I got to, I went here through, um, you know, through Larson here in a more, you know, in a more calm scene. Um, that being said, you know, she's the, you know, the girl fishing his daughter. Um, she's full of really beautiful movements as well, you know, with the, you know, not as aggressive, but like these gestures in her dress, sure. in her hair. Yeah. If you look at her hair. I mean, You're going in and out. It's moving all around. So I'm going in and out of voice. Is my voice going in and out, Stace? No. Okay. Oh, Stacey's frozen. Oh yeah, maybe she got. It was definitely on her end. She got. There, oh, here she comes. So would you use a sharpie pen like You're this, good, Stacey? Stacey, you're still uh, either muted or we're unable to hear you. Oh, yes. You keep you keep going in and out, and then my screen went blank and came back up. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's on you because the. Um, oh, okay. Well, I think you're fine. Got it. She almost looks like a no, cartoon I, drawing. I, I, a what? Yeah, a cartoon drawing. Yeah. So, I mean, it's very oh uh, yeah yeah i don't know um, his trees look more realistic than his is that yeah is that because it's out all of it is outlined in dark maybe yeah could be let's see um maybe we could i mean i have come on mister come on mister it'll adjust in a second it just needs to catch up trevor would you use a sharpie pen like this yeah, is it a fine tip? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sharpies are awesome. I yeah. bought, I bought a bunch of sharpies, and they really do the trick. Um, Larson was, you know, he was a little bit of a people call him like a showboat, and I kind of see it. Um, he just he this guy just knew how to manifest things, um, and I don't know, he knew architecture. He knew landscape, he knew figures, he knew composition. He just did, he did so many things so well. And um, anyway, I just, I just love them. And they're, and they're very, his works are very sensitive, um, very family oriented, you know, nothing's nothing controversial, like at all. I mean, this is him, you know, his daughter's on the dock and this is him in a boat, um, you know, you know, fishing, like this is probably his property. Let me, can, do, can I just show you some of this, some of this stuff? Um, I have this, I have, uh, these really magical prints, um, one. I'm going to have to zoom out even more. The, I think this might be the same, it might even, I didn't even notice that until right now. That could be the same island out there. But look how simple the composition is. I mean, he just has the, there's a path. That's backlit, you know, high noon. This is his wife. Um, and she's wearing this beautiful dress with a beautiful hat, beautiful row of hedges. And, you know, look at these lilies. I mean, let's move these up. Wow. And there's this son on the boat with the dog. You know, it, they're all familial, familial scenes. And, the, you know, the flower and the, his colors are great. There's a simplicity, there's a mastery, there's a, you know, there's this, it just, he, he makes you see, it makes me see um, the world through, you know, really a really a much more beautiful lens, kind of a direction that I've been going, um, which, so it's kind of compatible with, you know, living in the county, I guess. He looks like a master of S-curves. <laughs> he totally, he, he just- Lily's just. He is S curving everywhere, S curves and arches. Um, but then, but then he'll balance it out with. Um, but then look at how. Look, and then he just he just gets away with so much. Like, you know, right when you think, you know, look at the pen work on the tree. Mm -hmm. Look at the absence of the pen in the distant landscape, where it's just raw watercolor, and maybe even some pencil or pastel. Look at the shadows of some of those trees. So there is a little bit of a pencil texture, but no pen. 
And in the foreground, he outlines everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at the tree with the outline on both edges where you would normally want the light side not to have an outline. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He, he, breaks, he, he breaks a lot of rules. And, yeah. And is really successful. It's kind of like his, that's like his style in a way. It's as, it's like, as if he, the two, there are two different paintings, the background and the foreground, mm -hmm. completely different styles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, like, artistically, he's kind of a bad boy, you know? Like, he's, and he's kind of, in a way, like, you can almost, like, you can almost perceive it like he's showing, he's, like, almost, like, showing off a little bit. Wait till you see this. This is the one I was thinking of, which I wanted to do, too. Not that this is showing off, but um, it's just the whole family down the river. And you got kids, you got kids fishing. Look at this beautiful portrait in the foreground. Wow. I mean, it's hard. A little sweet face. Yeah, it's hard to get better than that. And then look at the still life on the table and the crawfish. So he's got the he's got the drinks, he's got the, the service, he's got the crawfish. He likes that stippling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it has, you know, there's, in a weird way, it almost feels like it's photographic, but it's just, it's so not. Yeah. He, he must use a straight edge for the, for the straight pieces. I think he does. Yeah. And if you <laughs> this first one. Yeah, with this, the fence. That is, that is like straight up ruler. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So for like the man. But Maybe. It adds the con to the contrast of all his curves. Look at these two. Cute. So they're, oh. they're fishing for the crawfish, and then they're <laughs> they baked them in the you know, in the pot. <laughs> in that pot. Oh, there she's got the water over the fire. I didn't even see that fire. That's a fire right there. She's got the pot over. And then, oh my gosh, that kind of freaked me out. Look at her wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at those curves. <laughs> oh, that's a little scary. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the, the, he's, the, look at those S curves. Look at the crying baby. And the little baby, I didn't even notice her. Oh, wow. Where is she? Oh, going after oh, her. Oh, <laughs> the bonnet. She got bit. She's following that little crawfish that got away. Yep. She might it might have bit her and it started crawling away. <laughs> that's not, that is not a happy baby. But then look at the tree. Look at that birch tree right above them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. beautiful. I mean, look at the look at those. The wind, look at yeah. those, those leaves are blowing in the wind. The movement. Yeah. Look at this mm. this curvy lines for the shadow the in the water. Of and the another other... kid fishing. <laughs> yeah, there's another kid. Wow. Fishing. I love this. Yeah, you've got all the supplies. And there's an initial on the oh, tree. No. <laughs> carved an H on the tree. Yeah, I wonder what his. <laughs> that might mean something to him. Yeah. yeah totally. It's, it could be his, his, like a, his son's name. I feel like scraping your name in a tree is like a very boyish thing. <laughs> and there's that red barn. Oh, look at that keyed in red. Yeah. Look at all these cools. Well, look at the re the restrained color palette. I mean, there's oh. that sienna red and then ochre yeah. yellow. Yeah. And a bit of and olive the, green. Are you, it's, and it's, the olive, really, mm -hmm. the little girl, the bottom left in the olive is, and tree leaves above her head mm -hmm. in the olive. And the, really, he, he uses the, um, you know, the, 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 the the contrast in the, the, the color intensity contrast to yes. create dimension. So the brightest reds are all the brightest reds, the brightest greens, the brightest yellows, probably the brightest blues even too. You know, I think she's got blue eyes, green dress, red, red, um, bright orange, all those bold colors and high contrast frame the bottom. And then you have middle, middle, middle level with the mom through the pot into the boat. 
and you have third mm -hmm. level with the, you know, this string of kids, including the baby, the baby. And, you know, these three create like a triad in the mid level. And then this boy occupies the, you mm -hmm. know, so it's like, it's like a string of one, a string of two, a string of three, and then a string of four. And then maybe, I mean, you could argue maybe five would be this very distant landscape. Excuse me. And I think that the cup on the bottom left, I am imagining that pointing right up to the little girl's face or bringing the eye up. Yeah. In terms of gazing direction, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is like a nice vector here. I mean, look at how this and this are like perpendicular. Mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. comes here, and then there's this line that runs that way. <clears throat> and then you have this line that goes here and then back up here and then up and then over. Yeah, it, it, the, the whole thing seems like it zigzags. So what's his name, Trevor? Trevor? Um, his name's Carl Larson. Carl Larson, because there are several. Oh, okay. I just Googled it. And there's like a bun whole bunch of Larsons that make do watercolors. Carl with a C or K? C-C-R-L. Larson. Um, yeah, we got a couple cool, well, yeah, a, a couple other, another ones. Again, all family, all family oriented. Here's a. Oh my uh, gosh. This is, I think it's like a. Halloween. Yeah. I don't know if it's Halloween or it's like a breakfast in bed. Let me see what the title is. <laughs> okay. Name day at the storage shed. What day? Name day. Main. Name, N -A -N -E, name day. Oh, name. Well, it looks like the woman. What means. I wonder what name day means. I, I mean, it's this guy's like, I think he's like Finnish. Oh, but maybe this... she's changing her name to his, and it's a procession behind her of celebration. Some kind of. But what's that little boy doing in bed? I'm playing a violin. little girl. This guy's all, she's all dressed up. What'd you say, Stace? What is that little girl or boy doing in bed? There are two people in bed. Look, yeah, one on the left and one on the right. They're waking up to this, it looks like. Exactly. It's like, a, and then she's got a breakfast service. I mean, there's like. Oh, I didn't yeah. see that. It'd be like an anniversary or a birthday. Oh, name like, day. Both day. What day? Name day. Yeah, birthday. Name day is birthday. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know if that's 100%. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. But, oh, costume. And they're starting, they're starting the celebration. It's like, a... that's the, um, the mama's, the mama and the daddy, but I don't see the baby. You know, they're all kids. It's they're all kids. No, you think they're kids? Well, look at the boy in the top hat. Oh, maybe it's, maybe they're just playing and pretending. Yeah. Yeah, I because, think they are playing. Right. But look at the um, this is, he's got like a big decree. You see yeah. that? Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I don't know if it's a decree, but it's a big piece of paper that he seems to be reading off of. The the people in bed look older though. They don't yeah. look. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And the oldest one is, you know, the girl, you know, in in the, you know this she's the oldest one in the whole picture, but then there's music going on down here, and I think that's Larson. You see him in? Oh, you can't see it. Sorry. The Oh yeah, so he's downstairs outside, and that's Larson because he always wears this. Um, he always wears a like a, a schmock. It's basically like a lab coat, but a painter lab coat that's gray, and he's got a suit on underneath it. it he's that's definitely him. Um, I think it's kids doing make believe, you know, like let's pretend, and I'm gonna be the girl carrying the heart, yeah. and. I don't know. She's got the bouquet. I mean, they're all having a grand time. It's a beautiful moment. And, and like, and, and everyone, everyone, I like, I love, you know, in the um, luncheon of the boating party, how there's a, there's that one woman who's like confronting the viewer. I love this girl right here who is, you know, you know, in, you know she's, she's acknowledging that you are witnessing the, the scene. Yeah, he's Swedish. Swedish, yeah. 
and there's it's funny because there's not it's hard to get info on him um but he it, you don't need anything because he he it's all out like it's all in the art i mean it's like you don't you know who he is you don't have to read a single word that he's ever written there it's like they're up in an attic this this one's this one's my favorite because the his youngest is confronting I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in on her um but he's got these two bottles of wine empty bottles of wine in the uh, in the tall grass so everyone else is eating the dogs at the table the dog sitting on the bed <laughs> yes where's the oh there's a the dog and then him, there you go her being like what are you doing over there what's going on with this guy's shirt right here <laughs> it looks like safety pins or something <laughs> trying to keep yeah. something to get I, mean, I don't know he's an old guy he's not a kid he's an old guy yeah. we've seen that before Adele, oh, haven't we? is he old <laughs> it looks like he's have, old. Well, maybe he's just blonde. No, I don't know. Young when I look at him in the picture, but then I look at him on the screen. No, his shoulders are much more rounded. Like a delicate old guy. And there's the little girl looking at the viewer. Mm -hmm. She's got a spoon in her leg. I look at those little, those little moccasins. Okay, okay, listen to this. So name day at the storage shed is the scene shows the artist's family on name day, a Christian European day where one dresses up as the saint they were named for. Uh, wow. Uh, oh. Is that St. Nicholas? I don't know. Could be. He's got a sword though. I know. So it might not be. <laughs> no. <clears throat> nice okay i had to settle thank that you, grace yeah. <laughs> thank you i know it's tough i was like I, I just all of the decoration is spectacular too just like just on a side note you know there's look at this tapestry running along the ceiling mm -hmm. like a runner and then there's the then this in the in these little cubbies, these little sleeping nooks. So interesting. I've got. I mean, I imagine it has to do with insulation. I mean, you know, if you're inside this little box and then you close it off, you know, if they're living in Sweden, it's probably pretty cold. Yeah. And then, you know, the railing appears again with these really clean, crisp architectural mm -hmm. lines. <clears throat> and then look at that. I mean, even just the way that the 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 value. Look at this. Yeah. It's like the blue, the the red on top of that. The thick red paint. Oops, sorry. On top of that. Oh, look at the center. Um, it red. looks just like the second dandelion, the stem of the dandelion that we just did. It really does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see that? This one? Yeah. 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 These little puff balls look like the dandelions too. Yeah, let me just show you some of the details of the face. I mean, look at that girl. That silhouetted. The perfect little. Just reminds me of uh Mary and my niece. With maybe a lit, I don't know. Oh, there it's in focus. Look at that hair. I mean, look at the movement of that hair mm -hmm. versus the uh, the flowers, those dahlias on top. Oh my goodness, look at how big her ear is. Oh, I never would have thought that. Yeah, I never would have seen heart. that. Look at the boutonniere of that huge sunflower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he looks like he's adoring her. Well, he's reading. He's reading from that decree or whatever. Oh, 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 thank you. I forgot all about that. 
<laughs> wow. These are nice. Talk these, about short term memory. <laughs> these, these two are good too. Triple threat. That little girl's face looking at us, that highlight. So cute. He's got a lot of kids. A ton of kids. Did he have a lot of kids? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you already tell me tell us that? I don't know. No. Okay. <laughs> but back in the day they had a lot of kids. So my chance. granny, my granny was one of 14. Woohoo, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Look, I gotta, I, I, I'm obligated to show you. There he is. This is, this is the man. Well, I'll show you a studio first. The studio is pretty sweet. You know, there's almost a Norman Rockwell feel, the <laughs> details. Look at the, look at the. Oh, the uh, look at that face peeking out. Yeah. yeah. Right, oh look. my goodness. And then look at the look at the cow looking at him. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, really, it was just a wonderful sense of humor. This rem remember we did the um that first photograph, basically our first photograph, I and mean, we had that 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 um the broom, the broom in that stone doorway. Yes. Cats, lambs. Yes, yes, yes. With the big yeah. of corn stalks and stuff. Yeah. He had so, eight children. Wow. Here's his here's, he did. <laughs> here's the studio. Wow. And he's got one of the eight kids tucked in there. Oh <laughs> my gosh. The fireplace in the corner. The fireplace is very majestic. I, I mean, to have that, that is like, to have it like be an open corner, so badass. That's great. I didn't even know chimneys could be like that. I'm going to build one. And the painting in the back that would you yeah. think that's one of his pieces? With that crusader with his S-curves on his plumage. <laughs> Look at that plumage. Yeah, yeah. We've done one of those before, haven't we? I think we have. Yeah. I, With big the rearing. Yeah. So, and this is the, I mean, the art, just like the furniture. You know, I mean, he probably, what well, he probably didn't make it, but, you know, this furniture is just, you know, he's proud of it. You know what I mean? They could, these are kind of his aesthetic choice, his aesthetic decisions, and to like to, to own them. And then to you know implement them into his into his art. I mean, he just he, he loved it, and it's a nice and actually it's it's a it's a nice arrangement of furniture. But the back, the white chair in the back is odd to me. It's, it's sort of tilted. It's back not left. there. No, back left near the painting. Yeah, but this one. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's so different from everything else in there. He'd like kick out. It's not of the same period. Like a half. That's interesting. Maybe we'll find it. Let me see if we can find it again. Nice... Oh, the girl on the left. Oh my gosh. A very sensitive picture. Up here to the milkmaid. <laughs> There's another farm scene. This is, I had a we had a guy. Ooh. Speaking oh, of talk about S curves. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Look at all those wood shards. It's a hell of an axe. We should draw that axe. We won't do it today, but that oh, yeah. I will teach that axe for sure. Wow. Mm. And classic. Classic as it gets. Oh, Bella, do you want to How go? Do you how do you control the watercolor to get such texture and fluidity? And I tell you, this is why color scares me. I mean, this would be the way to enter, though, um, 
because it, it really is it's so drawing heavy i mean it is if you if you remove the color you know it's there's not yeah. a whole lot of color it's very very simple it's not bold yeah it's yeah very, right. it's very managed very managed i mean look it's like this is basically just like orange with like yeah. like a, a neutral and, and again it's hard it's in a way it's like more mature because it is so under control um but but it's but it's it's the paintings are the the drawings at least in this one yeah 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 it's hard to man he, look at this beautiful progression you know it's ex mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just bring you back into space you feel the hill and then, and then, you know, just really loving these ch the chunks of dirt in the foreground. Really sells it. I need to take a watercolor class. I really love them. Uh, yeah, no, I have to. Trevor does. When is it on Tuesday? <laughs> when is the watercolor? Yes, I'll, shameless, I'll shamelessly plug our watercolor class. On yeah, yeah. I think it's on a work day of mine. Yeah, it's when, it Wednesday? Wednesday from 1 to 3. One to 12.30 to 2.30. No, yeah, 12.30 to 2.30, Wednesdays. Yeah, and remember I said something about that wrist? It was, you, Grace, you had said it's like an S-curve. The page that, yeah, Trevor, you just turned. Look at his, uh, what is it called? The back of his shin. It's oh boy. like, it's... This well, maybe it's not as curved as I thought maybe it was. Maybe it's just baggy pants, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these, let me just zoom out really quick. These, these are his, these are like a, a series of Christmas pictures, which are so cute. These have a lot more color and less outline, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Warm and cozy. Very. I, I wonder if, that, I mean, it almost feels like uh, oil to me. These feel like Soroyas. Well, I guess these are, you could call it a diptych. I don't know. <clears throat> I love this lady. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's that open fireplace. It's the same room. Yeah, it is. Oh and is God. that him with the beard? No. That's a, grandpa. <laughs> yeah, it is the same room. It's the same chair. Yeah, the grandpa's sitting in the same chair. Right. And then that you get a view of that window where he was sitting on the other side. Yeah. That must be that room. That be the same room, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. It is kind of combined because look, look at. Oh, maybe the maybe the the, man, the bookmaker. Because look at how that. I don't know if they're two separate paintings or one painting that they broke up. I guess it's two separate paintings, but he continued it. Do you see the the violin? And the violin. Yes. Oh yes. yes. Continuation, but he may have. Interesting. In two in two pieces. Yeah, and I think it's interesting, the hats, like on the right, the hat that yeah. looks like a headband with a feather, and then on the far right, that looks like a server's uh, standing, this person to me, looks Let's like tra traditional clothing. Yeah, could be, I don't know. Is this yep. the time he lived in, or do you think they were dressed up for the occasion? I think it's probably dressed up, I, I see it as like a Christmas party. It's, least, it's the 1880s. Christmas triptych, 1907. Oh, the 80s. Christmas at Sanborn, Sanborn. And that's in the uh, Helsingborgs Museum in Sweden. All right, field trip. <laughs> yeah. Third one. Okay, so that makes sense. Do you see her dress? See the corner of her dress right there? Uh -huh. Yeah. So that is. Oh, wow. It's a triptych. Yeah, that is this dress. Mm -hmm. Can you can you put them all together, or is that? I can't. Uh, this one. Do that. They're not on the same page. Oh, they're not on the same. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. There it is. The whole room. Interesting. Oh my goodness. That's up. so interesting. And look at the dress on the second into the third. Yeah. The blue. Me, the only clue, you know, <laughs> that it's the same room, actually. 
Uh, well, the ch move this. There it goes. All three. What size were these paintings? Is, is it in focus on your end? Pretty much. But it might be hard to do. 72 by 60. Mm. Those are big pieces. Mm. Oh, there's the chair from the first into the second. Yeah, with the violin hanging off of it. I don't think yeah. it's the same chair. I don't think it's that white chair. That no, no. No, no, it's the one with the, you know, the wood. Or it feet. Oh, yeah. reads like wood to me. Yeah. That shiny floor. I'll tell you, watercolor. Oof. Yeah. See this table? I wonder if this is a separate table. And then this is one continuous table here. I think so. Because, because it looked, yeah. It looked like a desk. see it behind the that. First it's like, it's like a, there's like a, a an adult like an adult table, or maybe it's his desk. They maybe. put a runner on it. The table. Yeah, and, and the same one from the other picture, which was you know sort of a like a desk, like yeah. an antique desk. They brought in this table for the family gathering, <laughs> or maybe it sits on the other side of the room. It's possible. <laughs> I think I'm gonna zoom. I think I just noticed there's um I think there might be candles and gingerbread cookies on the tree. Mm. Mm. Let me let's see if I can look at this. By the way, if you all don't mind, I'm I'm happy just looking at these paintings. We don't have much time left for drawing, but this is we'll just keep looking. looking. Yeah, yeah, these are wonderful. These are great. I want to buy this book. <laughs> what? I want to buy this book, I said. Yeah, yeah, no, it's this, it. this is the cover. The paintings of Carl Larson. I don't know what year it is. Um, there's a, you can get calendars. I had a calendar. I never had the book until, you know, a couple a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago. So this book is from 1976. Um, and I don't know, I, I, it's, it's hard, it's a tough, I haven't looked it up. But we'll probably find it anyway. Look at the. Um, I'm going to zoom in even closer. You can see the. Uh, there's yes, like yes. candles, actual candles glowing. Yes, yes. They used yep. to put candles. And then did they do cookies? I mean, I think these are cookies, and I think that's <laughs> what might be what the boy is interested in. Oh yeah. Hey, with a dog. <laughs> I don't know if you could put cookies on the tree. I don't know if but you could. I, they probably did. Yeah, probably made all those ornaments. And this does this and the next one uh, 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 cropped a little bit. Definitely reminds me of a Norman Rockwell Grace. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of detail, and it's interesting. There's a Swedish flag over there. Is that? I yep. guess that's a Swedish flag. Be an ornament. I think I yeah. see it on a tree, but it maybe not. Is it on a jacket? I see it as an ornament. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, because it's coming up here too. See it? Mm -hmm. off of that. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. A little you Swedish could, flag. Look at the glow of the of the candles. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just, a, it's wild that he, you know, like, have you ever tried? If you've ever tried to paint candles, I mean, I've been <clears throat> doing it for a couple, or like, yeah, you know, in the last year or so, I've been having all these candles, and to draw it and paint it, it's like, it's a really good solution. I mean, these are nice. Yeah, but the, the, the audacity to just—we just accept them like, oh, it's just a candle. But like, it—it's not just a candle. The candles are hard. And look at the restraint. So, Trevor, when the candle, go ahead. When the when the tre when the Trevors are painted, when the <laughs> candles are painted, the <laughs> the very center, the light, um, was the paint painted around the paper the light of the paper as opposed to painting white i assume but i could yeah that that's the that's the question um you know did he use gouache in some moments you know these are like kind of thicker come on i just want this it it did it, it was in focus there it goes yeah when they say aquarelles, what do they mean? Do they mean 
watercolor or gouache or is that a different thing completely in terms of medium when it says mm -hmm. aquarelles aquarelle yeah yeah i'm sure it's watercolor yeah aqua I mean, aqua means aqua. water yeah it doesn't don't, they, don't they, know. Don't these look like cookies aqua they look like flat big. yeah they look like cookies to me yeah, I think the cookies. Man and the yeah. animals and stuff. Sugar cookies. What is I would like a cookie right now. <laughs> you know, I was <laughs> noticing legally influenced, right? He's just enraptured by the uh he loves the tree. You know, he's just like enthralled by the and I wanted to mention, I feel like on the tree that there's a lot of restraint to keep it a little more stiff because I think this kind of pine is probably you know, when we have these kinds of trees in our Christmas tree, they're more stiff sticking out like that. But he's giving them a little bit of curve because he just can't help it. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it's, I, because there are, I mean, it is, it, this is just an, an incredible yeah. ab abstract um, party. I mean, it is a painting party, which is just such a tall order. I mean, look at and like the, I love how it goes, you know, it makes like a big triangle, you know, the, the base of the tree, but then the dark branches and they go yeah. into like yellow green. And then, you know, the, uh, you know, like look at the soft edges around the candlelight. Mm -hmm. candlelight. And he's working with a really thin tip brush using a very little bit of paint, right? And then going over it maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think he... You know, in watercolor, you work your way down into the dark areas. So these are—he was almost vignetting the pick, the corner of the corner of the picture. But like, if I move up, these uh, these have details. Now look at the treatment of, you know, in terms of the hierarchy. You know, look at how he he doesn't give us. You know, this is the base of the tree, and this looks like there's a little step stool coming up here. But look how uh, I don't know, man. This feels very opaque i mean this feels like an oil painting to me yeah i was going to say it, it's hard to believe that this is a watercolor same i love the uh highlight the, on the thin. boot mm. in the center mm -hmm, mm -hmm. further back that toe yeah look at the look at the floor where you know you get reflections off the floor it's it's totally this background is so warm you know where you're you know, it's about figure to ground relationship. You know, look at the highlights, the silhouetted lights around there. I mean, there's, he's totally working, you know, constructing it at will, not at observation. So could it, so, so could it be observation that he has completely or really changed to his own liking or not? Yeah. Yeah. How do you know that it's not from observation? I think is the question. I think, I think it is from. I think. I, <clears throat> I think he's he plotted it out. I mean, I think he, the experience happened, and he just maintained vision. Okay. And then had people. And then he kind of like planned it out, and then filled in the blanks. I mean, because you know, because it's it's you know, you can't just sit there at a party like this and just like be drawing. You know what I mean? You have to be living it. You have to be experiencing it. Yeah. You have to know it. You know, and I, I mean, I've, I've made art like that. Um, and it's the best when you have time to actually do it. I mean, but they, you know, this lady came in and she, she came in and sat for that portrait. You know what I mean? Like she was at the party and he captured the spirit of the party, but she sat for this. Mm -hmm. It's almost like he's taking a picture. Yeah. He's right. Turning and saying cheese. Or... Yeah. And, and this is pre photography. I guess it's not pre photography. This was 1907. So and again, I mean, looking at the viewer. I mean, he may have, he may yeah. have used photographs for some of this, but I mean, just the the, the design and all and all the people and it's, it's subjects that he knows really well. Let me just go back and show you. Uh, in, in his, there's more cows. He loves the cows. Look at that. Ah, oh, that chandelier. Flowers. This wow. Is, this is one of his famous pieces, the outdoor scenes of the birch. Um, so much detail. Oh. oh, that little boy. Yeah, this is, they're doing printmaking. 
Oh my goodness, look at his uh, love handles. I'm so <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks like a sausage. <laughs> Maybe it is. That is so funny. This guy probably made sausage when he wasn't with <laughs> A jack of all trades. There's ah. he He's left-handed. Uh, or because uh -huh. um, he's he might be. I mean, he could be. He have he might have like a like a mirror set up. Oh. If, you, if this was the if you're if this was the mirror, he would be right-handed. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, but he's holding his instrument in his left. I know, but he's drawing the mirror. His reflection. This is this is not. Oh 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 oh! Hello. This is a, this is a self portrait. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> then it must be. But, but I, <clears throat> I just I just assumed it was a self portrait. Yeah, it says it's the title is nude study. <laughs> Because okay. he's drawing. Yeah, he's drawing. <laughs> With the sword in the page. <clears throat> this is called Cactus Interior with Cactus. And she is, um, she's like doing a balloon. That's a busy right. Yeah. It's so so much so. <clears throat> um, so this is the width. This is exactly the width. There's more table beneath it. So let me I'm gonna do that. Let me show you that. There's an, an entire ellipse for the table. This is it. Almost hold on. I was trying to get the most amount of detail closest up. You know, see the whole rectangle right would be able to, there it goes. They are into runners on their tables. Yeah. Their flowers are just, wow. Wow. All right, and then look at the S curves in her sleeve. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just go, let's go back through here. There's man. Shop. There's the doggy. The boy. Yeah. The dog under the table. Now, it, there is a little distortion here with the perspective, it feels like to me, but I don't know. Like, like he could have been using, like this one feels like it's done from photographs or at least partially. <laughs> wow, that's, look at that expanse of red. Yeah, no, really, really interesting. With, you know, and that table past, points right to the boy. <laughs> Able to, yeah, oh, I mean, they're all he's the point of radiation, you know, he's on that that vertical the vanishing point. Mm -hmm. Can you zoom in a little bit on the activity at the back? Yeah, the table at the back. Yes. I love these pictures, right. these are great. Yeah. Uh, I love this relationship between the young, the young man, the the young boy and the old man, yeah. and yeah, you know, the him playing for him. And that guy's in very, I I would assume, pretty traditional um, clothes. Mm -hmm. Doesn't he? Doesn't he look like he's got? He almost yeah. Like look at the the mock like the pants and the all of the you know the. The head yeah. collar and the epic collar. Look at that. Wow. It's not, it's, it's that, still like that age. Um, okay, so this is weird. I can actually go in a little bit. I think I can go a little closer. Okay. Forest. Wow. There. So much going on. 
See, for me, it's a bit of sensory overload. <laughs> I agree. But, you know, I mean, it's not, it's, it, the, the, we've consumed a lot of images. Mm -hmm. Every, and every piece, everything in everything, at, at every millimeter of the picture is considered and resolved. And not only considered and resolved, but idealized. I mean, there is not a bad pose. Um, the dog is perfect. The pot is perfect. The basket is perfect. The dress, the sleeve, the profile of the face, every view of every component is in an idealized um, fashion. Everything is in relationship to one another in a perfect way. From the chairs to the distant furniture to the trees, I mean, there's nothing that's not idealized in the entire picture. And, you know, it's, it's, it's more beautiful than a, than any photo, every, every photo could, could never capture all of this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, yeah, like, does, does any, bag. So look, at this bag. look at that pouch, yeah. Beautiful. And I would wear those shoes. That little boy has. <laughs> Love the shoes. I'm a shoe girl. I think the tree to the immediate left, the base of that tree disturbs me. Yeah. Well, you're very sensitive, Stacey. <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, yeah. It's, Look at the look at the dreamy gaze of this this girl. I mean, she's just yeah. She's like there enjoying it, but she her mind is someplace else. She might be in love. Like, she's in, say she's love struck. But look, yeah. look at the part on the tripod in the back. In her mind's eye, not or maybe somebody off screen too. What'd you say, Adele? Sorry. That tripod, the part on the tripod in the back, and the two, the two sticks, leaning sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen a fire there? There's a cauldron. Maybe that is connected. Maybe they're going to be putting that pot in the coals. Yes, I the definitely fire. look past the old lady. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Thing. Wow. Walker. Yeah. Kind of modern, or you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Canes. And then this is. Uh, you know, to so go over the fire to hang something. Fire. That's the fire, and there's a pot on the fire. It's because those sticks hook together at the top. See that? Mm. There's probably a third. Oh. But there's a third. <clears throat> Got it. I hadn't noticed that at all. Yeah. There does seem to be too much going on. <laughs> I love the uh, the background, the forest, the trees. Yes. yes. Love yes. that. Yeah. And birch woods do grow like this. Like mm -hmm. it's, 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 <clears throat> its own. It almost creates its own. It's, it's like a natural architecture, you know, where it's in pines do the same thing. Like there's this beautiful, like right up on the, right up on the NCR trail, if you go off, there's this pine forest and all, it's all pine trees. And so it's all needled, you know what I mean? So like everything is, is the same, you know, the ground, all of the soil is going to be treated, you know, have the similar, you know, so, you know, season, year after year after year is going to be, you know, developed. So it's going to have almost like its own rug with its own, canopy and its <clears throat> own walls you know out in nature and so it would be very natural that a, you know that people would want to congregate in, in yeah. <clears throat> and the wonderful the thing person about in the far fire. back are, are they holding grapes oh, i'm sorry adele Excuse no i was just me. gonna say the white birch forest is also very bright which is nice yeah mm. yeah yeah I think they're flowers, Stace. Oh, bringing a pot of ah. Oh. <clears throat> oh, she's dropping flowers <clears throat> playfully on his head. Oh wow! Yes. Oh, he's got That's maybe so he's funny. being grumpy, and she's not putting up with it. Um, he might even not. He may not even know. <laughs> he's all closed off with his so arms. Playful. Oh, nice. She's like, Don't. yeah, I mean, and that, and that the thing is like that happened, you know, that, that didn't not happen. Like in order to, in order to depict that, 
you have to have seen it. You have to, you yeah. know what I mean? You, don't, you yeah. can't yeah. make things like humans. You can't, you can't invent something that isn't, wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. So it has truth and it, and it's, you know, and this, yeah. this also happened, you know, like this, this combo. Yeah. Which is why he was inspired to pick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I wonder if these people, if he hired these people mm -hmm. play, and mm. you know, if this is the player, this is a player. Ah. traditional dress play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're <clears throat> dressed similarly in a traditional garb where these guys are more modern. Mm -hmm. But then that is probably the help. She might be part of, I don't know. Oh yeah, she's got an apron on, yeah. She's got an apron. Oh. And then this could be, you know, his, you know, his, <clears throat> you know, his family. Yeah, that's that's the dynamic there. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, that could be a hierarchy of um, status within the family. The um, the help or, or the servant, the the maid, and then uh, the woman in the blue. She, you know, is the next step in I don't, what word am I looking for? The hierarchy, and then yeah. the woman in the black hat. Yeah, I think that's um, matri matriarch. Thank you. The thank you. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. And the young ones are oh. dreamy and playful. Yeah. 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 Nice. It's nice to wrap your head around. And the dog is the dog. <laughs> And the local musicians that were hired for the occasion. So before we go, right. would you guys be up for um, you know sketching some of these next week? Is anything I like would be. Yeah. Stands sure. up. Never. All right, we'll think about it. Yeah. Well, that was lovely. Thank you. I really enjoyed. That. Yeah, that was so informative and inspiring. Look at that Gerber. Oh, look at that. Her face. Look at her eyes. Wow. That yes. A single light source. The Gerber baby. Did I hear yeah. someone say that? Yes. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people in this picture. <laughs> Actually, even more. Hold on, let me drop this down. Yeah. One. Oh. I see five. I, oh, 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 oh. Four, five. One, two, three, four, six, five. Seven. I see six. Can you do that one more time, please? Two sisters right next to one another right here. Yep. So that's one, two, Yes. Three. And then the baby, four. Mama, five. This, per, this girl silhouetted six. And then the profile. Oh, and then part of the profile. Thank you. You're welcome. I missed that entirely. That looks like a nice little uh, dinner plate there. Sugar cubes. <laughs> the eggs. All right, we shall continue. Oh, righty. Um, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. This we'll was see you next really week. fun. Yeah. Right. Oh, don't show us anymore. <laughs> I know. I've got to get out. We've got to go. <laughs> I'm glad you got to Thank you. And Grace. Adele, good to see you again. Yeah, yeah it's good to be here. back. See y'all. Bye. Bye.